Well, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Here it is Friday one more time. Good to see you back at the pastor's update. Hey, I heard about a Sunday school teacher teaching little ones. She asked the, this little group of girls, said, who, who was the first woman in the Bible? And one little girl said, don't know. Teacher said, let me give you some uh, help. Uh, it has something to do with an apple. Little girl said, Granny Smith. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> Children, they say the darndest things, don't they? Well, I've got some things to say to you. Uh, some good news, first of all, about the family meeting we had on Wednesday last over at Rocky Hollow Campus. Great turnout. Uh, trustees did a great job presenting information at this quarterly family meeting. And you asked some good questions and gave us some good input. You can still ask questions and give input. Uh, call the office or send an email. We'll be delighted to answer any questions and hear what you have to tell us. Hey, I, I even heard this morning that uh, people are already making suggestions for my replacement. Thank you. Um, number two, uh, starting point. If you want to become a member of our church or maybe you know someone um, neighbor or friend who'd like to become a member, we have a starting point class that's beginning Monday at 5.30. Uh, need to call and register or go online and register for that at 5.30 this Monday, March the 29th. Brother Terry, uh, good night. We'll leave that and you can work toward becoming a member of our church family. Uh, we try to make sure that you know what you're getting into when you become a part of our family. Number three, this Sunday is Palm Sunday. That's when we celebrate the historic event that Jesus rode into the city of Jerusalem, you know, and, and the people praised him. Uh, and uh, you know what he did from then? He cleansed the temple and started preaching and teaching in such a way that a week later they were, well, they crucified him, right? Less than a week later. Uh, speaking of Sunday, this Sunday, this is the uh, last Sunday of March, we're going to restart the 9 o'clock service over at the Rocky Hollow campus. Got to, got, got to do it because we need the room. We were packed out over there Sunday morning. Um, Brother Maury preached a great sermon, and the music is getting better every day. Uh, we've done a lot of updates on the sound system. You ought to be able to hear it all well. And keep praying for that folks, those folks from Suddenlink that they can get our Internet uh, going over there so that we can live stream from Rocky Hollow, just like we do from the Sun City campus. Now, here at the Sun City campus, need you to know that the 9 o'clock is um, you know, pretty full. 11 o'clock, there's still room, so especially as Easter comes along, if you don't mind, those of you who, who are willing, come to the 11 o'clock to make room for the 9 o'clock. Uh, Easter's going to be a great time. We've done some recording, and th there'll be live as well as recorded there will be Easter services at both campuses. It will be a great day to serve the Lord and worship Him. <clears throat> uh, Wednesday Bible studies. Uh, I have been leading a Bible study called uh, The Journey with Jesus. We've done a geographical and chronological uh, journey with Jesus from His birth uh, to the death. He, he died last week, and uh, now we're... Uh, this week we'll see Him rise. And in fact, we're going to study that part where He ascends into the clouds. And so, um, what's going to happen after that? Beginning the first Wednesday of April, Brother Maury will take over. He'll do the Bible study, and he'll be leading a Bible study on 1 John, that little short book way back at the back, 1 John. If you want to know about God's love uh, and how he gives us love for one another, come, come uh, be a part of that. Also, uh, last Wednesday we had lunch, and we can plan to continue having lunch each Wednesday 1130. So if you want to have lunch, be sure and go online and register. Or if you don't do online, call the church and let us know. The last thing, number five thing, is Stations of the Cross. That'll be a week from today. And if you want to come to the church and do a, a live, uh, in-person walk through the Stations of the Cross, then you need to register for that. Registration is already open for that. But that's next Friday, um, Friday morning, Stations of the Cross. Uh, a lot of good things going on. Um, let's see. I wanted to tell you one more thing. Um, let's see, what was it? Oh, oh, about the, the lady I visited in the um, 
one of those retirement homes, nursing homes lately, and uh, she she was um, she said she's doing okay. She said I, I'm I've got got um, uh, cataracts pretty bad in both eyes, but um, I'm um, let's see what she say uh, p paralyzed uh, partly in my left side and um, can't hear uh, uh, can't hear it when it thunders. But praise the Lord, I can still drive. Hey, so y'all be careful out there. You may meet her on the road. Hey, and there's one other thing. We're in my office, uh, and uh, some of my uh, things here on the shelves that remind me of many of you, uh, this, this one that I'm going to show you does not, but uh, just thought it might be funny for you. This is a, a hand grenade. Um, it, it's a, what do they call it, inert? It doesn't have explosive in it, uh, but n notice what it says on there. Take a number, complaint department. You pull that pin. You know the idea is you pull the pin and it causes the hand grenade to explode. <laughs> I, you know, I've been here what ten years now, and um, yeah, I don't, I don't hear a lot of complaints, but then I'm kind of hard of hearing anyway. You know that I love you, and I look forward to seeing you Sunday somewhere with a smile. Um, Brother Maury and I will be preaching our hearts out because we love you, we love God, and he's called us to serve him with gladness. So bring your gladness and come on and worship with us. Bring your mask too. We'll keep wearing those for a little while longer. I've got both of my COVID shots and I'm, I'm feeling fine. Looking forward to preaching from uh, the book of Philippians one more time. It's Friday, but Sunday's coming. Love you.